the, 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 the service conductor said, we are always quick to complain about the half. Oh, we don't have. Half empty cup, not half full cup. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are always pressing God for new things. We are always forgetting the existing things the Lord has done unto us. We are never caring to press Him to glorify Him, to appreciate Him for being there, for being glorious, for being compassionate, for being gracious unto us. We take everything about our lives for granted. Because we want to live this life to the full. When we live for the world to come, when we sacrifice this world for the world to come, the Lord will give us this world as a bonus. Amen. If we live in this world without actually minding the world to come, we will lose that heaven, we will lose this place. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 That will not be a portion. Today, we we, the first scriptural lesson is taken from the book of Exodus. And the Lord said unto Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses read from 9, 10, 11. From 9. And the Lord said unto Moses. Yes. Lo. Lo. I, I come unto thee in a I'm thick cloud. I come unto thee today in thick cloud. That the people may hear when I speak. That these people may hear. When I speak that with thee. That indeed and truly there is one living God. That is not visible. I want them to see today that there is somebody somewhere. And this message should be transmitted from the fourth generation to the one thousandth generation that will pass through the corridors of life. Yes. And believe thee forever. So that they will believe forever that there is God. Amen. Yes. And Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. Yes. And the Lord said unto Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses. Go unto the people. Go unto the people. And sanctify them Sanctify today. them for three days. Today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. And let them wash their clothes. And let them wash their clothes. And be ready against the third day. And be ready for the third day. For the third day. The third day. The Lord will come down in the sight the of Lord all the people. The Lord will come down in the presence of the people. Unto Mount Sinai. Unto Mount Sinai. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round set about. Set bounds around Mount Sinai. Set Saying. bounds. Set bounds. Set bounds. Set bounds. Mark it. Nobody moves near. Nobody moves close. Oh, yes. yes. Take heed to yourselves. Yes. That ye go not unto it up into the mount. They should not move near the mount. Or touch the border of it. Yes. Whosoever touches the Whosoever mount. Whosoever touches the base. Shall be sure. Of Mount Sinai. Shall be what? Surely put to death. Shall be put to death by an invisible hand. Mm. Yes. There shall not an hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned. He will or, be stoned. Or shot through. Or shot through whether by it, angels. Whether it be beast or yes. man. Whether it beast or human being. It shall not live. He, that person will not live. Whether Verse 18. And, and Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke. And the entire mount was on a smoke. Because the Lord descended upon it in fire. If you know Mount Sinai, if you've been to some Mount Sinai, if you've ever been on top of Mount Sinai, the entire base of some Mount Sinai is bigger than you win. And when you climb the Mount Sinai, it will take you precisely about seven hours to get to the summit. Filled with smoke, yes. And the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of the furnace. And the smoke ascended unto our heavens like furnace, yes. And the whole mount quaked greatly. And the whole mount as huge, as massive, quaked. Yes. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long. Yes. And waxed louder and louder. And louder. Moses spake. Moses spake. And God answered him by a voice. <laughs> Go to chapter 20, verse 18. The time is going. And all the people saw the thundering. And all the people saw the thundering. And the lightnings. And the lightning. And the noise of the trumpet. And the noise of the trumpets. And the mountain smoking. And the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it. When they saw it. They removed and stood afar off. They ran back. They ran back. They ran back. Yes. And they said unto Moses. And they said unto Moses. Speak thou with us. We know there is God now. And we, we have heard the voice. We can't bear this voice. 
We can't even be all this glory. Don't let this God talk to us again. He's too massive. He's too great. He's too fearsome. Yes. But let not God speak with us. Yes. Lest we die. If God speaks to us, we will die. As yes. Moses said unto the people, Moses said unto them, Fear not. Don't fear. For God has come to prove you. God has come to prove you. And that his fear may be, and that his fear may be before your face. So that his fear may be in you. That ye sin not. That you do not sin. Because the Ten Commandments given, you must live in these Ten Commandments with fear. When you obey these Ten Commandments, you must have the fear of him that gave it. Because Exodus 31, 18 says, It has been written with the finger of God. And he said, and he said It is not the voice of them. That shout yes for mastery. Neither is it. The and he voice gave unto and Moses. Oh. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communion. Yes. Him, yes. Upon Mount Sinai. Yes. Two tables of testimonies. Two tables of testimonies. Tables of stone. Of stones. Written with the finger of God. Written with the finger of God Himself and with the blood. Jesus of the Lamb. These commandments remain the personality of the king that will rule in the kingdom of God. This is the personality you must conform to. The Ten Commandments, the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 23 says, Galatians 3, 23 to 25. And go to Matthew but also, 517. Came, yes. But before faith came. <laughs> before faith came, before Christ came. We were kept under the law. Can you use the mic? But we were kept under the law. But before faith came. Before faith came. We were kept under the law. Yes. Shut up under the faith, unto the faith. We should afterwards be We were shut up. Unto the faith. Unto the faith. We have been prepared. Yes. We should afterwards be revealed. Which will afterward be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. The law was our schoolmaster teaching us. To bring us unto Christ. To bring us into the personality of Christ. That we might be justified by faith. So that we can be justified. If we move from, if we move in these ten commandments. We'll be living in Christ. When we live in these ten commandments. You are in fact living in Christ and in the righteousness of Christ. Then we can be justified by faith. Yes. But after that faith is come. Then when Christ himself came. We are no longer under a school. We are no longer under the school master. For ye are all the children of God. We have now faith. become children of God by in faith. Christ. By Christ faith. says in Matthew 5. Do not think 17. that I have come to abolish the Don't law. Don't think I've come to abolish the law. Or the prophet. Or the prophet. I have not come to abolish I have not them, come to abolish. But to fulfill them. But to fulfill them. For truly I tell you. For I have come. I'm the fulfillment of the Ten Commandments. Don't say grace. I have somebody say we are no longer living on Mount Sinai. We are not living on Mount Zion. Hmm. Trying to corrupt the heart of people because they live in an adulterous life. Yes. For truly I tell you. For truly I say unto you. Until heaven and earth. Until appear, heaven and earth shall pass. Not the smallest left. Not of, the smallest of these commandments. Not the least stroke of a pen. And the least stroke. Will by enemies disappear from we, the law. We by enemies disappear from the law. They must be come. Until everything is fulfilled. Until everything is. This is the personality. Of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Himself. This is the King that will rule. And the Lord is now saying, is preparing you for that kingdom. That word must live in you. You must live in that word. That is why He said in Hebrews 12, from verse 18, 19, 20. For ye have not come unto the mount. You have not come unto the mount. That might be touched. That might be touched. Man Sinai. And that burned with fire. That burned with fire. Not unto blackness. 
unto blackness and darkness and tempest and darkness and tempest and the sound of a trumpet and the sound of the trumpet and the voice of words and the words and the voice of words Fright, frightened yes which voice they that they heard entreated the word should not be spoken to them anymore when those who had that word coming from heaven of Mount Sinai they say we, we don't want to hear the voice of this God again it is 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 we will die if we hear it. We will die. It, it, is a, it is a terrible thing to fall into the hand of the living God. It's a fearsome God. It's a terrific God. Yes. For they could not endure that which was commanded. Yes. For if so much as beast touched the mountain, even if beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned. It will be killed. Or thrust through with a dart. Yes. And so terrible was the sight. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said that Moses himself that was telling them don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> now we are, the spirit is now confessing exposing <laughs> Moses. Yes. I exceedingly fear and quake. Moses said I was exceedingly fear. <laughs> exceedingly afraid. I was actually shaking. My bones were actually melting. Yes. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. You are now being taken to Mount Zion. And unto the city of the living God. You are being prepared, not even for Mount Sinai, but for the Mount Zion, the only Jerusalem. That is what the commandments are preparing for. Yes. The, the heavenly Jerusalem. The heavenly Jerusalem. And to an innumerable company. To an angels. innumerable, uncountable, billions, trillions of angels. Yes. And to the general assembly. The general assembly. And the church of the firstborn. And the church of the firstborn. Which are written in heaven. Which are written in heaven. And to God, the judge of all. And to God, the judge of all. And to the spirit of just men. And made to perfect. the spirit of just men. Yes. Made perfect. Made perfect already with the endorsement of the blood of Jesus. Yes. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Yes. And to the blood of sprinkling. The sprinkling blood, yes. That speaketh better things than that of that Abel. That speaketh better things than that of Abel, yes. See that you do not refuse. Make See sure you, you do not refuse the voice of him that is warning, yes. But if they, if they escape not who refused him, those faith, who refused were killed then, yes. Much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Whose voice then shook the earth? Mom, well, mom. But now he promised. He promised. Saying. Saying. Ye once more. Once more. I'm going to shake. I shake not the earth only. I shake not only the earth. But also heaven. I'm going to shake heaven also. And this is the time. Everything that is unstable will drop. Even among the angels. The Lord is shaking. Shaking heavens. Shaking the earth, you'll be shaken if you don't, if you are not strong, if you are not confident, if you are a yo yo Christian, you will drop off. You either believe Christ, accept Him, or you get out of Christ because He is God. Heaven and earth will fail, He will never fail if you believe in Him. If you serve in him, if you do it right, leave the consequence to him. They may crush you, they cannot kill you. And at the end of the day, you will walk on them unless Christ is no more existing. He is God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to shake the earth only, I'm going to even shake the heavens. Everyone be shaking. With temptation, with trial, you will pass through a tunnel of fire. You will be tempted with money. You will be tempted with wife, with women. You will be tempted with husbands. You will be tempted with the conveniences of this world. And if you follow, you will drop off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With this, the Lord is actually preparing you and me for the receipt 
as the Holy Spirit. Because the time the Lord was speaking, the Holy Spirit was already existing. It's a personality. Like the Father, like the Son. But then, it was never indwelling there. It will come. When the Lord has a mission to, 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 to execute, it will come upon you. It will use you for that mission. It will go back. First John. 24, 25, 26. First John, the pistol, not gospel. And this is the promise. This is the promise. That he has promised us eternal life. He has promised us eternal life. These things I have written to you. I have written to you. Concerning those who try to deceive you. <laughs> concerning those who may be deceiving you, Satan, yes. But the anointing which you have received from him. The anointing that you have received the Holy Spirit coming into you, yes, abides in you. It will abide in you now. And you do not need that anyone teach you. Anointing is the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Spirit will now indwell in you. You don't need anybody to teach you anything again. Yes. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things. Yes. And it's true. It's true. And it's not a lie. It's not a lie. And just as it has taught you, yes, you will abide in him. You will abide in him. And now little children. Little children. Abide in him. Abide in him. That when he appears, when he appears, you may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Yes. If you know what he if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. God bless you. Amen. On the day of Pentecost today. The Lord has said unto you in Jeremiah 31 35 that now I've been visiting you, but at a later date I will not put. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Who gives the sun for a light by day? Yes. The ordinances of the moon and the stars for a light by night? Yes. Who disturbs the sea? Yes. And, it, and its waves war? Yes. The Lord of hosts is his name. Yes. If those ordinances depart from me, says the Lord, yes. then the seed of Israel shall also cease yes. from being a nation before me. Yes. Thus says the Lord, yes. if, if a heaven above can be measured, yes. and the foundation of the earth searched out beneath, yes. I will also cast off all the seed of Israel yes. for all that they have done, says the Lord. Yes. Behold, you. the days are coming, says the Lord. Are coming, says the Lord. That the city shall be built for the Lord. Yes. From the tower of Ananel to the corner Can gate. Can you start from verse 28? And it shall come to pass. Yes. That as I have watched over them to pluck up. Yes. To break down. Yes. To throw down, to destroy, and to afflict. Yes. So I will watch over them to build. To build. And to plant, says the Lord. Yes. In those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten grapes, sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Yes. Every man who eats the sour grapes, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. I will make a new covenant. With the house of Israel. Yes. And with the house of Judah. Yes. Not according to the covenant Not that the, I according to the last covenant. That I made with their fathers. Yes. And the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Not reading this list to them every day. Yes. My covenant which they broke. Yes. Though I was a husband to them, says yes. the Lord. Yes. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Yes. After those days, says the Lord. Yes. I will put my law in their minds. I will put my it it's been great. I will bring the Holy Spirit into them. It will be dwelling in them. It be teaching them. Yes. And write it on their hearts. I will write it on their heart. I will be their God. I will be their God. And they shall be my people. They will be my people. Come on. No more shall every man teach his neighbor. You wouldn't need to be taught like you have read in the book of 1 John 2, 24, 25. You wouldn't need to be taught again. Saying, know the Lord. That Holy Spirit will be in you. Teaching you. For they shall all know me. They shall all know From me. From the least of them to the greatest of them. Hallelujah. Everybody, the Trinity, 
Each has its own responsibility. The Father created all. The Son has come to redeem. The Holy Spirit is there to convict, to judge, to condemn, or to turn to righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The job of the Holy Spirit. You, I, I want you to read in 237. Just read it. Holy that, Spirit. Yes. The Comforter. Mm. Yes. Descend into our, come into our midst. Come into our midst. Thou art the king of blessings. You are the king of blessings. We are expecting thee. We are expecting you. For thou art the almighty king. You are the almighty king. Great king and benefactor. You are the great king and benefactor, the Holy Spirit. O king of spirit, descend now. O king of spirit, descend now. We are expecting thee. We are expecting you. King of mercy, descend now. King of mercy, descend now. Is the king of mercy. Yes. Look on us with mercy. Look on us with mercy. We thy children look unto thee. Yes. Open thy door of mercy. Open thy door of mercy. O holy king. Holy king. Benefactor. Benefactor. Father, send us blessings. Send us blessings. For thou art the almighty king. You are the almighty king. Who blesses his children. Who blesses his children. King of mercy. King of mercy. O king of life. O king of life. Kindle thy light for us. Kindle your light for us. Thou art the king full of You are the light. king full of divine light. We are expecting, we are expecting you. O holy king. Holy king. O king of life. King of life. Descend and bless us now. And bless us now. For thou art king of mercy. Yes. We are expecting, we are expecting you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Spirit of peace. Spirit of peace. We are expecting, we are expecting you. Holy king, come down unto us and remain in our midst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The physical manifestation before now. It says in Exodus 23 20. Behold, Behold, I send an angel before you. I send my angel. This is the Holy Spirit, not just an angel. Before and you. And this is the work of the, of the Holy Spirit. Yes. I send an angel before you. Before you. To keep you on the way. To keep you in your ways. And to bring you into the place which I have prepared. To bring you into your destination. Yes. Beware of him. Beware of him. And obey his voice. Obey his voice. Provoke him not. Do not provoke him. For he will not pardon your transgression. He will not pardon your transgression. For my name is in him. He will not. He has, he, that is not his own ministry. He cannot forgive you. He can't forgive you. Yes. For my name is in him. My name is in him. But if you indeed obey his voice. If you did obey his voice. And do all that I speak. And do all that I've commanded you to do. Then I will be an enemy to your enemies. Your enemies will be my enemies. Amen. And Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to listen properly. Yes. And an adversary to your adversary. I will be an adversary to your adversaries. Amen. Yes. But my angel will go before you. This Holy Spirit will go before you. And bring you to the Hammerites. He will bring sides. you all the lands of the Amorites, the Jebusites, the the Ethis, the Ephes, the, 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 the And I will cut them off. All these lands that are being used and possessed by the unbelievers, I will kill them because of you. And I will plant you there. Yeah. The Canaanites, the Anakites, the Jebusites, the, the Amorites, the Ephes, the Itis, the Canaanites, the Anakites. I will clean them off for your sake. Yes. You shall not bow down to their gods or serve them. You must not bow down to their god. You must not have any other thing added to my name. Yes. Now do according to their words. Yes. But you shall utterly overthrow them and completely you break down. You will overthrow them. Don't have compassion for those who are evil doers. Yes. And completely break down their sacred pillars. Break down their all, all their sacred pillars. Yes. 
So you shall serve the Lord your God. You will serve only your God. He will bless your bread and your water. The Lord will not bless your bread. He will bless your what I don't know whether you understand. Amen. Yes. And I will take sickness away from the midst of the you. The Lord will take sickness away from our midst. Amen. Yes. No one shall suffer miscarriage. No one will suffer miscarriage. Or be barren in your land. The, the, the thing is, if we are if we are diligent to to just watch and keep and live in the word of God, yeah. then we are diligent over the work we do. Yeah. It must be better for us. Amen. I'm not praying. No, no, we have not gotten there. I'm telling you the obvious. If you are diligent to watch more carefully the word of the Lord, and you live in that word of the Lord, your life in righteousness, in all brightness, always thinking and minding the things of God, the world will serve you. Amen. Yes. I will fulfill the number of your days. I will fulfill the number of your days. Amen. I will send my fear before you. I will, my fear, anywhere you are going, my fear will precede you. All those who have mounted their standards of wickedness against you, they will have been blown off. Because I've been before you. Yes. I will cause confusion among all the people to whom you come. All the people that are expecting to harm you, I will throw them into confusion. They will move into total consternation of evil. Yes. I will make all your enemies turn their backs to you. Your enemies will be, when your enemies turn their back, it means they are running away and you are chasing them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hivites. I will send hornets. <laughs> That's things. I will send them before you. It, 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 is, it, it, is, it is dangerous to attack anyone who is of the Lord. Oh, yes. If you do it, you will regret. Yes. Because the power moving with that individual yes. is beyond the world. Yes. yes. I will not drive them out from you before you in one year. <laughs> I, will, I won't kill them once. I'll be killing them <laughs> gradually. I'll be killing them gradually. gradually, gradually. Lest the land become desolate. Because you are not too many now. If I destroy them all at once, then you will not be able to occupy the entire space and why this will come to share. No, no, I don't want to do that. God is a God of perfection. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. Uh, 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 the Lord says, uh, go to John, please. Go to John. Go to John. 14 from 15. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father. I will pray the Father. And I will, and He will give you another helper. He will give you another helper. That He may abide with you forever. That he abide with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. The Spirit of Truth. Whom the world cannot receive. The world cannot see it. Because it neither sees Him nor they knows Him. They can't see Him. They don't know Him. But, but you know Him. You will know Him. He will indwell in you. For He yes. dwells with you and will be in you. He will be in you this time. Yes. I will not leave you orphans. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. He will be with you, be living with you, yes. A little while longer, <laughs> yes. And the world will see me no more. The world will see me no more. But you will see me. You will see me. Because I live, I live. You will live also. You will live also. And that day you will know that I am in you my will father. Know that I'm my father, my father is in me. And yes. you in me, yes. And I in you. Yes. He who has my commandments and keeps them. Those who have these ten commandments and keep them. It is he who loves me. Those are the people that will live in me. Those are the ones that the Holy Spirit will live in me. In there. Those who keep my commandments. The fear of God must be in you. If the fear of God is not in you, you cannot make it. You can't make it. Even the celebrant of this day, if the fear of God is in you, the Lord says in I, Proverb 9. Can you read from verse 10? Don't pull that yet. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge 
of the holy is understanding. The knowledge of the holy is understanding. Is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied. If you fear me, your days must be multiplied. Amen. Yes. And the years of thy life shall be increased. The years of your life, I will increase it. He is God. Continue. Continue, please. He who sees, he who has my commandments and keeps them, yes, it is he who loves me. Yes. And he who loves me will be loved by my father. Yes. And I will love him. I will love him. And manifest myself manifest to him. Manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him. And I will manifest myself to him. And Judas said unto him, Why are you not loving the world? Why? Only us. Yes. How is it that you'll manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Not to the world. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. The world does not love me. I'm not talking to the world. I'm talking to you who are my disciples. Yes. If you love me, you will keep my words. If you don't keep the word of God, you are not one of his own. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. My father will love him. My father will love him. And we will come to him. The two of us will come to him. And make our home with him. And make our home with him. Yes. We will indwell. The Holy Spirit will not indwell in you. It says, in that is in us. First John 4 4 is greater than in that is in the world. You cannot be touched if the Holy Spirit of the living God is in you. That is the Holy Spirit in you. Because you can pray doesn't make this Holy Spirit because you can prophesy is not. Because you are apostle, you are supreme evangelist, you are pastor, has nothing to do with this situation. A number of people have lost the Holy Spirit of the living God. Is the third head in the Trinity is the one giving the opportunity. John 16. Read just for himself. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. It is to your advantage that I go away. For I will for I do not go away. If I don't go away, the helper will not come to you. The helper will not come. Now I'm the one sheltering you. But when I go away, the helper will come into you. And stay in you because the world is wicked. It will abide in you, it will fight your battle. Yes. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. Yes. But if I depart, I will send him to you. I will send him to you. And when he has come, and when he has come, he will convict the world of sin. Listen, is the one that is going to convict the world. Is the one given the authority. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will convict the world. He's living in you. He's in you. You may pray from now till his kingdom comes. If you have not done it right, he's in you. He will convict you. Yes. And of he will convict the world of sin. Yes. And of righteousness. And of righteousness. And of judgment. And of judgment. Of sin because they do not believe in me. If you believe in him, you will do his will. Of righteousness because I go Let to my coming. father. Of righteousness I go to my father. And you see me no more. Yes. Of judgment. Of judgment. Because the ruler of the world is judged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan is being judged. Not even by the father or the son. But by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has a is already condemned. When you see somebody who cannot swim and is drowning, and somebody then gets there, he will hold on to that person. That person will either take him up or the two of them will drop. And Satan can never come up again. So he's not looking for all those that will go down with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the spirit of the living God. The Holy Spirit in you.
I want you to, to search yourself. Because if the Holy Spirit is in you, 1 John 3, can you please quickly read? 1 John 3, 18. I'm reading from My little children, children, let us not love in word. Go to verse 22, the time is done. And whatsoever we ask, whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. We will get from him. Because we keep his commandments. Because we keep his commandments. And do those things that are pleasing in his and sight. And do those things that are pleasing to him. If we keep his commandments, whatever we ask from him, he will do it for us. Amen. This is his commandment. This is his commandment. That we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ. God bless you. And love one another as he gave us commandments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can lose the power of the Holy Spirit. Number one. If the habitation of that Holy Spirit is not clean, it abides in you, in your heart. Your heart is a place that must be kept with all diligence. Uh, Ephesians 4.30 If your life, if your heart is still filled with anger, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. You will grieve the Holy Spirit. He will not operate in you. He will not operate. You will mortify him. If, yes, by whom you are sealed by the day of redemption. You have been sealed with the power of this Holy Spirit in the day of redemption. Let all bitterness. If you are still having bitterness in you. Right. Yes. If you are still an agent of wrath and anger. 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 Clamor. Clamor. Evil speaking. Evil speaking. You don't have anything to anything good to say about anybody. Mm. Yours is to see the negative side. Mm. And to condemn. You are, you, somebody is in you <laughs> who is convicting you. You can pray to Christ from now till his kingdom come. The one that is living in you cannot forgive you because he has that mandate is not with him. Always remember that you have the Holy Spirit in you. Yes. Let them be put away from you with all malice. All malice, disaffection, anger, pride. Take them away from you. Yes. And be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Tender hearted. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. Forgive one another. Even as God in Christ. I cannot forgive, forgive him. The Spirit of God will never operate in you. The Spirit of God will never operate in you. And it's the only one that can take you to your blessing. No power can deliver from the shackle of the world unless the Holy Spirit does. And if you don't do the will of the Holy Spirit, you can never get there. Amen. So when we talk to you, listen. Otherwise, our prayer will be just like someone taking the basket to the stream Amen. to draw water. It will bring nothing home. Ours is to talk, like the book of Holy Quran 1835 say. Just one day, and leave the rest to me. Mm -hmm. We talk. If you like, you take it. If you like you don't take it, if you don't take it, you continue to struggle with the same problem. Ben. The same problem. Ben. And you say God is not there. Ben. God is there. Yes. You are the one that is not with God. Clean up your bowel, your heart. Let your heart be clean. The second one, you can't be a liar. Act of Apostle 5, 2, 3, 4 says, Anania, Sapphira, and he kept back part of the proceeds. Yes. His wife also being aware of it. Yes. And brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. Yes. But Peter said, Peter said, Ananias, Ananias why has Satan filled your heart to why lie? Why has Satan filled your heart? To lie to the Holy Spirit. To lie to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You can't lie to the Holy Spirit. When you lie, you destroy yourself. You can lie to the Holy Spirit. Yes. And keep back part of the price of the land for yourself? Yes. While it remained, was it not your if own? If it's your own, it's
it is your money. And after it was sold, was it not in your own control? It's in your control. Why? Because Why do you need to tell, come to the man of God and lie to the man of God? You are lying to the Holy Spirit. Yes. You have not lied to men. You have to not God. lied to men. But to God. Then to God. Then Ananias, hearing these words, slumped, fell down, and breathed his last, and died. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can, and that is why. The book of Revelation 21 says from 7 that even liars will have their portion in the lake of fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you need to say it as it is. First Thessalonians 5 19 says, Don't quench the Holy Spirit of God. Don't quench it. Don't kill it. Don't destroy it. You will kill that Holy Spirit if 1 Thessalonians 5 do not quench the Spirit do not quench the Holy Spirit hallelujah I will quench the Holy Spirit I will quench it 1 Corinthians 6 16 says then go to 1 Corinthians 3 what? Yeah. no you not you don't that... know you have that no you not yes that he which is joined to an harlot. Those that are joined to harlot. Is one body. Those who are fornicating. Those who are fornicating the vow. Those who are living their lives in adultery and fornication. Yes. Is one body. Is one body. For two. Yes. Saith he shall be one flesh. Yes. But he that is joined unto the Lord. Those that are joined unto the Lord. Is one spirit. Is one spirit with God. Flee fornication. Flee fornication and adultery. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. Yes. But he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what judgment is he giving? Know ye not that the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Which is in you, which yes. you have of God, and you are not your own. Yes. For you are bought with a price. Yes. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit. First Corinthians three sixteen says. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple? You are God's temple. And that God's spirit lives in you. And God's spirit lives in you. If anyone destroys God's if temple, if anyone destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him. God will destroy him. For God's temple is sacred. God's temple is sacred. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you indulge, don't quench the Holy Spirit in you. When you indulge in fornication, adultery, or idolatry, idolatry is actually fornicating with Satan. You are eating with God, you are whining with Satan. So it's all adultery. He said that person will be destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was okay in the past, but now that the Holy Spirit is in you, in you, in you, in you, you can't. For if we sin willfully, yes, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, after we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remaineth no more sacrifices for sins. No more sacrifice for sin. But a fearful, a certain fearful looking for of judgment. Yes. And fiery indignation. Yes. We shall devour the adversaries. Yes. But it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It's reading from Peter. No, the Hebrew standard. Hebrew. Read also Hebrew 6. From verse 4. For it is impossible yes. for those who were once enlightened yes. and have tasted of the heavenly gift. Heavenly gift of the Holy Spirit. And were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. And have been made partakers of the Holy Ghost. And have tasted the good word of God. Of the Holy Ghost. And the powers of the world. And the to powers come. of the world to come. If they shall fall away. If they fall again. To away, renew them again unto the not going to visit to renew them. Seeing that they crucified to themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they said the wall of Jericho came down. It's not the hallelujah. The hallelujah incited the Holy Spirit into action. And the Holy Spirit brought down the wall of Jericho. Joshua stand on Gibeon and instructed. He was a man. Instructed the sun and the moon. Don't move an inch again until all the Amorites are killed. It was the Holy Spirit talking. The first revival 
the pastor father did at Makoko. When they started singing, Holy Spirit, descend into our midst. We are expecting. Instantly, two women started confessing that they were witches. And they were rolling on the ground. Rolling on the ground. Rolling on the ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The point is, the power of the Holy Spirit is already in you. You cannot hide from this Holy Spirit. It says, can you please go to Matthew 12, 24? Matthew 12. Go to verse 26. The time is gone. If Satan cast out Satan, yes. he's divided against himself. Yes. How then will his kingdom stand? No. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, yes. by whom do your sons cast them out? Yes. Therefore they shall be your judges. Yes. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ was conducting and performing all these miracles with the power of the Holy Spirit. Because that is the that is his own assignment. I cannot ask a blind man to open his eyes. Uh, one of our leaders who were in who were in, the, in, in another convocation some years ago. And uh, it was on the pulpit and he came down. He saw another pastor who was blind. I said, Take off your glass. Open your eyes in the name of Jesus. Open your eyes. And I was looking like this. I was looking like this. I knew he was messing up himself. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wrap this. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Shameful, he said, Okay, go and sit down. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't yourself. The Holy Spirit himself will decide at the appropriate time. He himself will lead you to the person that is meant for glory on that day. He will speak to that individual. The voice is coming from the Holy Spirit, not from your own jumping up and down. We will let the Holy Spirit by thinking we are somebody when we are nobody. If the Spirit is you, he will direct you. Just is to make yourself available. Live your life in a, in a righteous way. Because God, you are still reading something for me? Satan is casting out Satan. <laughs> yes. Yes. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, I cast out demons by the Holy Spirit. Surely the kingdom of God has come upon surely you. Surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Yes. Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods? Yes. Unless he first binds the strong man. Yes. And then he will plunder his house. Yes. He who is not with me is against me. Yes. And he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. Yes. Therefore I say unto you, I say unto you, every sin and blasphemy every sin will be forgiven. Will be forgiven, man. Yes. But the blasphemy against the spirit. The blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Don't use yourself when God has not used you. Yeah. Don't prophesy when God is not speaking through you. Don't see vision when God has not given you vision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Things that people themselves can see, can touch, can know, they want to hear from the prophet. And when things happen, they say the prophet misleads me. But the Lord has set boundary. The Lord has given you wisdom. There are certain things you should be able to decide yourself. Prophecy comes randomly. Even somebody who is not even a prophet can be raised from the back or even from the village. Somebody can... <laughs> Two days ago, somebody called me and said, I'm sent to you. And I said there was no way I could go. I will tell this man on phone. And he said, the Lord said, you will receive this punishment. You will receive this punishment. And he said, he started calling me since 6 a.m. I didn't pick the call because the phone is in the car, let it in the car overnight. And I said, from which parish? He said, no, I'm not with Celestia. 
I'm from God of Cherubim. I have a message for you. So okay, say it. Say, the Lord said I must come to you. And I said, okay, I am now going to start in Ireland. You are coming from New York. Meet me there. He said, no, I'm already on the way. In the bus. So I had no choice there to suspend any other thing. And waited for him. And when he came, he opened up a book of revelation of this parish from Genesis and what the Lord has purposed. This parish, this parish, this parish, voice of Christ, voice of Christ, voice of Christ, is not a place one should beg anybody. Those who stay steadfastly will see the glory of God. It's not, not it's not a prayer. It's not a prayer. And I'm telling you before God, I raise up the Bible. I'm telling you, if you are looking for something that's not happened yet, check yourself. If you are within God, and God is within you, you will conquer. Amen. And you will get it. Amen. But if you, the Lord said, I will dislodge people. I will send people out because they have seen me, they have had me, and yet some are not believing. At the fullness of the covenant of God on this parish, every eye will rule the glory of God. Amen. Not only around, all over, all over, all over. We're not begging people. All we're begging you to do is to believe and to trust. When you trust God, you have to trust God absolutely. Absolutely. Even in darkness, trust Him. That he created darkness is in there. No matter the problem you are going through, believe him, he is with you. He's only testing you. It may be long enduring. Unfortunately, if you get closer to the end of the tunnel and you look back, you first all. Your focus must be strong. Jeremiah 32 17 says, and I come down. Jeremiah 32, ah, Lord. Ah, Lord. <laughs> Yes. Ah, Lord God. Ah, Lord God. Behold. Behold. Thou hast made the heaven and the earth. You have made the heaven and the earth. By thy great power. By your great power. And stretched out arm. You stretch out by your stretched out arm. And there is nothing too hard for thee. There's absolutely nothing out for you, God. Yes. Thou showest love and kindness unto thousands. You show loving kindness to thousands of people. And recompense the iniquity of the fathers. You recompense the iniquity of the father even down it, to the son. The so father. when you are not doing it right, you are also preparing a legacy of problems, of doom for your children. Think twice. God can never repent. Divinity can never prevail against Israel. And sorcery can never stand against Celestia. Yes. In the, into the bosom of their children after them. Yes. The great, the mighty God, the you Lord of hosts. great and mighty God. Yes. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. Is his name. Is his name. Great in counsel. Great in counsel. And mighty in work. Mighty in work. For thine eyes are, are open upon all the ways Your of the Your eyes are open men. upon the works of all men. To give everyone according to his ways. To give to everyone according to his ways. And to the fruit of his doings. And to the fruits of his doings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yours is to believe him. Yours is to trust in him. His eyes is upon you. Even in your... Hallelujah. Let us try to pray.